How can I make you stronger? We must make you better. coming up soon and we have an awesome Christmas giveaway for you. We have tons of iPhone 13 Pros and Amazon gift cards totaling $10,000. Lord's Mobile sponsoring this video so not only do you get to play this awesome game but you also get all this cool tech. Download Lord's Mobile using the link in the description below and win those prizes. Astute members of the Demolition may notice this is the third time I've partnered with Lords Mobile. This is for sure the best strategy game I've ever played. And it's a perfect game to kill time anywhere. Lots of you have actually messaged me saying that you love smashing massive armies with a single tap. <laughs> Me too. For those who might not know the game, you can create a sweet castle, choose army troops, and set up formations the way you want to annihilate millions of enemies. As for me, the most interesting thing is to capture other players. I can ask for ransom and get all the gold. Lords Mobile is recently updated to allow you to go for more adventures on this new fantastic 3D map and win amazing rewards. For the $10,000 worth of iPhone 13 Pros and Amazon gift cards giveaway, there are two ways to win. Click the link in the description below. There's a might ranking where the top three might players will win an iPhone 13 Pro. $500 and $200 Amazon gift cards are also up for grabs using the might ranking. In addition, you can spin the lucky wheel and win cash every time you upgrade your castle. And for everyone, $350 Lord's Mobile gift packs will be automatically offered after you download the game. Download it from the link in the description to win. Welcome to the seventh day of Christmas. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a deer on the range. And look at this. What we came here today to talk about is the 4.6 by 30. This caliber is crazy. You probably haven't heard of it. Uh, you've definitely not shot it because this is the caliber shot out of an MP7. And today, for the first time ever on Demolition Ranch, we have a, not an MP7. Okay, <laughs> you got catfished. I'm going to be honest with you guys. You got catfished a little bit. We have a CMMG Banshee chambered in 4.6 by 30. So it's the same round that an MP7 fires. For those who are like, what is an MP7? It's an H and K gun that is totally super impossible to get. It's a unicorn. And... We got the next best thing, which is the CMMG Banshee. So on the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a CMMG Banshee, chambered in 4.6 by 30. What is 4.6 by 30, you might ask? Well, first, let me get another caliber so you can compare. We actually just took a couple of the bullets out. So this is the 4.6, that is the 5.7. So this is a bigger round bullet, but this is a longer bullet. They're actually both 40 grains, so they're the same weight. So these, I looked them up, these are actually going very similar speeds. They're both around 1,900 to 2,000 feet per second. So same speed, same um, energy transferred and everything. So they're both very flat shooting. This one just has a smaller uh, cross-sectional area as it goes through. Theoretically, would be better at penetrating things because everything else is equal like your, the momentum behind it is equal so the thing about this round and this round both very tiny very little recoil going very fast very flat shooting and they're both so fast that they're pretty good at getting through body armor for instance a nine millimeter is this big old fat boy really big and uh, going slower about 1100 1200 feet per second so slower fatter not good at getting through armor these things kind of are. So what we're gonna do today is shoot both these rounds at some soft armor. Some Kevlar is level 3A, and we'll see if either one can get through the armor. None, neither of these are armor penetrating rounds or anything special. They're just regular full metal jacket rounds. So we just wanna see when these two bullets are flying at Kevlar, can you get through soft armor with them? And then we uh, have a demolition ranch style test after that. But before we get into the testing, let's make sure this thing actually works. I put a little Vortex Spark Solar on the top of it. Okay, yep, I'm a fan. Dude! Let's do a little 100 yard. See if I can with this red dot. All 
right, let me bring it down. There it is. Dude, that's sick. Dude. Okay, also I didn't mention these are 40 round, uh, no wait, that's not legal. That's not legal on YouTube. These are 20 round mags. Dude, sick. This is awesome. I'm just gonna shoot a little bit more because CMMG sent us some ammo too, so might as well burn it up, right? <laughs> God, I wish you guys could look down this sight and see like how little the gun moves. I mean, I know you can look at the gun and see that it's like, I actually hit it a couple times yeah. when I was going like this. <laughs> Sick. We have more ammo. We'll get some more. Okay, I just watched that clip that we just made, and it was a very non-realistic interpretation of the amount of kick when I was holding like this because it wasn't stable. It's way more stable when you're actually holding. It. Okay, I'm gonna just load a couple rounds now and we're gonna actually shoot this target with not only the 4.6 but also the 5.7 and see if either one of them goes through. Well, first come look at the target. Don't look at that guy. Don't worry about that guy. Just look at this guy who's holding the GoPro on his thumb. We have him, don't look at, we just got him, <laughs> we got him loaded up with a Kevlar vest level 3A which will stop any pistol round, any normal pistol round pretty much, up to a 44 Magnum, but sometimes has trouble with things that are tiny and fast. Like me. We're gonna shoot 5.7 first at our friend over here. I'm gonna shoot two times on the left side will be our 5.7 shots. And we will high and low. And then we're going to go with the 4.6. Same deal on the right. <laughs> the gross part is it, it fell in the old eggnog. Okay, we're gonna try that again. High, low. Now we'll go see if he survived. Five seven, five seven, four six, four six. Let's see. So it looks like you can see there, hit, 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 hit. Did that one go through? The top ones, okay, that's because they were touching. So <laughs> he has what you would call inverted nipples. <laughs> the top ones where it was touching dented it more. It doesn't look like anything went through though, which is good. I think that just started like cutting. Yeah, nothing came through there. It like ripped a couple little fibers, but no bullet made it through in any of those. So we're going to actually rip them up a little more, shoot a bunch in them and see if all of them stop in this. These are not armor penetrating rounds. Uh, five, seven, I know has armor penetrating rounds that are illegal. And I would assume four, six probably does too, but I have no idea because I've never actually shot a four, six before. Let's see what happened. I definitely shot a couple through him, but I think it was after it fell out of the way. <gasps> Whoa, why did that go through that time? Dude, that's crazy. How did our first two not go through and then that, those, like several of them went through. It seems like we just changed it up and did something different, but we really didn't. That's crazy. Let's shoot actually some more 5.7 now and see if, we'll count the holes. One, two, three, four, five, six holes. Yeah, he did. We'll see what happens if we can add some more holes with a 5.7 or if this one is better at penetrating. Okay, 5.7. Oh my 
gosh, this thing doesn't kick either. That kicks like nothing. That's so crazy. What did we get to? Six holes before? Okay. What the? They're all going through now. I mean, that's definitely more, right? Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, got like five through on that one. I have no idea why our first rounds went through and or did not go through, and our second rounds did go through. That's it's science, and no one understands it. No one can understand science. That's why they call it science. Also, green demolition shirt, probably actually my most popular shirt ever. We have them on the site right now, link in the description below. And that is our special today, which if you order one of these shirts today at BunkerBranding.com, we're gonna pick seven of y'all for the seventh day of Christmas, and we are going to give you a membership to our 12 month subscription shirt. You get a new shirt every month for an entire year. They're all demolition shirts, they're all different, they're all unique. Every single month we come out with another shirt, and we have those for you. So we're gonna pick seven of y'all who buy this shirt today. Link in the description below. What we did, is we took best of both worlds. Kevlar, great. Ublek, great. Liquidy, right? Liquidy, but also solidy. Super weird. When you hit it hard, it acts like a solid. When you just go slow, it's very, very liquidy. So we filled the vest up with that. Look at this. Kevlar, Ublek. See how gross and solid it is and then it melts it's like ice cream you get it hard again swatch for instance ugh, it will just pour out of here it's here it goes here it goes yep it's gonna stop everything god it's so weird we filled up this thing with a bunch more. We just basically opened it up, dumped Ublek in. So Ublek is like semi-solid, semi-liquid and did okay at stopping bullets. But we thought if you paired up Ublek with, you know, Kevlar, it'd be really good. The problem was we just dumped it in there and it all just settled at the bottom. So we had to dump a bunch of it up here to make it to where it didn't just have a big puddle of Ublek right here because it acted very liquidy. So this is iteration one, this is prototype. When we actually come out with these for sale to the military, we're gonna have it caps encapsulated so it stays in place. But proto this is just prototype testing guys, trying to save lives, you know, trying to, trying to help out our heroes on the front line. I got you with this science vest. We're just gonna shoot it with some 4.6 and 5.7, which is probably actually just 4.6 because I got tons of ammo. And we'll see if it goes through. We saw that one, no worky so good. This one? Because I made it. It's going to be great. You got to keep those gators on. Okay. I'm going to start low and walk it up him. And uh, we'll just see. Because it's going to be thinner the higher we get. That one actually looked like it went through. Is that going through also? You know what, let's just actually, let's shoot some more. I'm gonna start low and go up again. I'm actually a little worried because I, I definitely saw some go through the back there. He's leaking. All right, so you can see we have hits. That low one there is another one there, and then I just kind of worked them up to here. Um, definitely heard something hit steel. It's actually still swinging over there. And saw some grass go up, which is a huge bummer because I put tons of research dollars into this. Uh, actually, all the merch sales from today are going to go into more research, uh, so you can be assured of that. Also, this prototype vest weighs about 40 pounds. So that, that, that's something we need to work out with some more. Did we steal this? It's, that's fine. Man, even down low, this is the lowest part and it's still squirted through here, came through here, came through here. That's why we do testing guys, because you gotta know. I would never want to just 
make a million dollars selling this to the U.S. government right now, I, I, I want to spend a lot of my money testing it for a while for you guys and just not have not have government money coming my way. That's fine. Okay, the 4.6. Uh, I love this gun. It's super awesome. You'll be seeing a lot more of it because this caliber is really interesting. And I want to know what else can it penetrate? 3A armor, not a problem for it. I would say about probably 60 to 70% of our rounds went straight through Kevlar, which is crazy. More to come on this round. Also, today, as you know, is the seventh day of Christmas in our Demolition Ranch style of counting, which is counting before up to Christmas, which means we're over halfway there to Christmas. It's coming around the corner, and guys, I have new guns for you coming every single day up until Christmas. You're not going to want to miss it. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Dibbles Ridge. I love you. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.